who was cutting into the middle from the wing. He took it just in front of the center ice red line, was onside, had a three-on-two break, but he lost possession of the puck inside the screen. So a very smart pass, alert pass by Babinoff to set things up. Well, there's Gloria Salming over at the other bench, the Soviet Union. Norris a little anxious right at this moment. This is their second game. They already have a loss and tie. Could be disastrous for their hopes in this Canada Cup tournament. It's from the faceoff. Vasilya out to center ice. A rink wide pass. Picked up on the far side by Schwarzoff. He drops it back. Billy Litvinov clearing it down right on the Swedish goal. Ostrom will cover up very conservatively. And with 139 left, we'll have a key faceoff deep in the Swedish end. Well, what do you do here if you're the Soviet coach? Do you do you gamble and think that maybe a loss and a tie, and if we win our last three games, it's going to give us an opportunity to get in? They still have to play Canada. Or do you take your goaltender out and play for the win? That's a big decision they're going to make here. Oh, and a little hacking in the faceoff circle there. Nilsson took a shot on Cobin. <laughs> Hudson's Bay rules. <laughs> and they'll do the faceoff all over again. On the faceoff, moving into the faceoff circle, and getting it out to center right. That's Hedberg. Hedberg breaking down around the defense. Hedberg breaking it all alone and breaking back to clear the puck into the corner is Vasiliev, and there is going to be a penalty. And the final minute, 28 seconds of this game, barring another penalty, the Soviets will play shorthanded. Well, they may even lose the hockey game here, but right from the draw. Uh, the Soviet defense doesn't move up. Hedberg just shows the speed. He went around Belodinov very, very quickly. And actually, I'm wondering if the official got the wrong man. I, I thought he was going to call Belodinov for, for hacking at Hedberg as he went around him. But instead, he's given Vasiliev the nod. And I don't think Merle Vasiliev <laughs> lumber on him all the way down the side. All right. We said that was a key face off at the other end. The Swedes gained control, came down to this end, to the Soviet end. And uh, we got uh, a big penalty. Now the faceoff is in the Soviet end, and Sweden has the manpower advantage. They'll go for the win if they can get it. Well, certainly, I don't think there's any question about that. They've got the, the man advantage here. They're not playing for a tie. If they get the win here, that leaves them with two wins and no losses, and uh, and that puts them in a very good position in the tournament. On the other hand, it would certainly put the Soviets in a very bad position. So the Soviets now, for the last minute and 28 seconds, are trying to hang on for a tie just to have a slim chance of making the playoffs at the end of the tournament. All right, the Swedes have the manpower advantage. In the corner, Nilsson. Nilsson leaving it there for Lundstrom. Back to Nilsson, he's all alone in front, and he got a shot away. Saved by Fredjak, and the puck winds up in the center ice area. Schoberg. Schoberg, Borja Salman still out there. Schoberg shooting it in, offside, and the faceoff will be just outside the Soviet line. 110 left in the hockey game, a 3-3 tie. Quite a bit of excitement in this hockey game, just the first of two on CTV. Night at 8 o'clock, Eastern Time, Canada versus the United States. On the faceoff. Krikanov back in his own end, clearing at the center ice, past Salming, and Schubert will go back and start the rush from there. Exactly one minute left. Here's Schubert, the center ice, trying to feed it ahead. He gets it over the line. Edberg dropping it back to Nielsen. Back to Edberg to Nielsen. Back into the slot of Salming. To Schubert. Into Hedberg, and he goes down. It's loose in front of Krikanov. Nearly lost possession of that one as it took a bad bounce. Salming. Over to the far side, Hedberg is in, going after it. Number 16 for the Soviet Union is freaking off. He's jammed out of the play. The loose puck is picked up by Ripnev and set down the ice. 28 seconds left. Salming gets the pass from the goaltender, Ostrom. Over to Schubert. Ahead. That's Blazar over the line. Into the corner after it. Lundstrom chasing in. Blazar gets it out to Schubert. Here's the shot. No, he fakes it. Blazar moving in. The shot right on kicks away. Now into the corner they go. Hedberg in there after it. They try to get it out to the point. It's cleared down the ice with two seconds left. One second and the siren goes and the hockey game is over. We've had a barn burner here as it's turned out as the Soviet Union and Sweden play to a 3-3 tie. Tom a great Just hockey, a great hockey game. game. It was a terrific hockey game. 
all of the fans here are on their feet. They're giving both clubs a, a tremendous hand. The, the game was very fast from beginning to end. It showed the great condition both of these clubs are in. A very, very good hockey game with a lot of chances at both ends, a lot of great opportunities, and a lot of great individual performances on players from both sides. Well, I'm sure people at home are have already selected their most valuable players for the game. We're going to have the presentations now, and of course, a couple of hockey celebrities that will make what has always been a surprise appearance uh, here at the Forum, an unannounced appearance. The Carling O'Keefe Awards, they're setting up now at Center Ice for that. The teams lined up at the blue line. Both anthems will be played because of the tie. Sweden first. Mesdames et Messieurs, il nous fait maintenant plaisir de vous annoncer les récipiendaires des fameux présents sports au kif aux joueurs par excellence du match. We are pleased to announce the sports Here's the presentation of the awards for the most valuable player. Carling O'Keefe Awards, Eskimo Carvings to the two players. And our presenters. About to be announced. Who will it be? I don't think there's any doubt on the part of Sweden. De ces magnifiques cadeaux, nous invitons l'ancien gérant général des Canadiens de Montréal et membre du temps de la renommée, Monsieur Frank Selke Senior. Frank Selke Senior will present the most valuable player award. There he is, one of the great men of the National Hockey League, Jacques Plante. Mr. Selke for so many years and won so many Vezina trophies and a great hand from the crowd. And Jacques also is broadcasting with our sister network, the French TVM. Big hand from the crowd here. She, l'équipe de la Suède, I would now wait like most valuable player. to present the award to the outstanding player of the Swedish team. Borgi Salmi. Borgi Salmi. Tom, I don't think there was any doubt. No, I don't think so. He controlled the game when the so uh, Swedish team had the puck. He played a great deal of the hockey game. In fact, I think rather than timing how much uh, uh, he was on the ice, I think it may be easier to time how much he was off the ice because he never seemed to be off the ice. He was always there. And, of course, he was the one that tipped the puck through to Hedberg to Listen enable to the, the Swedish crowd. team to get a tie. Listen to that hand. They gave him a three-minute standing ovation in Toronto when he returned, of course. We've seen a great hockey game from a fine player. Now the Carling O'Keefe Award, the Eskimo Carving, to the best Soviet player. Of the Soviet Union team today, Yashislav Tretiak. Tretiak. Canada Cup 76 on CTV. What does this remind you of? A maple leaf? No, what else? I give up. It's the symbol on the Lotto Canada ticket. Oh, yeah, where they're offering 12 $1 million grand prizes. Would things be very different for us if we won a million dollars? I don't know, Louise, but they could be if we wanted them to be. It would be nice to have that choice, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm glad we've got some tickets. <laughs> Lotto Canada, where there are 12 $1 million grand prizes available, cash, tax-free. Toronto Dominion No Charge Checking. Here's how it works. Maintain a minimum balance of $200 in a TD personal checking account during any statement period, and there's no charge for checks paid during that period. So if you write nine checks a month, 
you'd keep $17 a year by getting 8.5% interest on the $200. 12 checks, $23 or 11.5%. Compare these figures to other returns you can get on your money. No charge checking at Toronto Dominion. An exciting hockey game here at the Montreal Forum, certainly, with the uh, Swedish team taking that big jump with a 2-0 lead in the first period. The Soviet Union rebounding to uh, come back strong, and it looked like they were going to win the hockey game, and that, of course, was until Head Bear's goal from Salming, and I thought uh, uh, Salming played a great game, but so did Maltsev of the Soviet Union, although they picked Trecek, he had a fine game, too. Speaking of stars, let's go out to ice level where John Good will be talking to them. Well, thank you, Alan. Of course, here's a face that is known to most hockey fans by now. Vladislav Trechak, the goaltender for the Soviet Union, and Viktor Kutuchkin the, of the Soviet Ice Hockey Federation is going to help us interpret. And Viktor, first of all, I'd like to, to, to ask uh, Vladislav, coming up uh, are two games before you meet Canada, and I'd like to know, like to know where you think the Soviet team will need to improve the most before meeting Canada. Мне кажется, надо советской команде прибавить в чувстве коллективизма. I think we, we have to play a better team play. И немножко, чтобы немножко нам счастье улыбнулось. And to have a little bit more luck. What about Sweden today? Did you think that the Swedish team... Что вы думаете? Я думаю, что наша команда сильнее сыграла, чем команда Швеции. I think the Soviet team played better tonight. Does he think that the Soviet team... Uh, will improve enough to be able to play a good strong game against the Canadian team. Well, we'll try to do our best. Victor, thank you very much. Vladislav, congratulations and best of luck in the rest of the series. Unfortunately, Borja Salming is not available to interview as the most valuable player for the Swedish national team. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. I've been driving for Carling O'Keefe now for the last six years. Driving a truck doesn't make me an expert on beer, but being around Carling O'Keefe sure has taught me a lot. For instance, this load I'm hauling is the result of a lot of good things. Take the ingredients that go into it. Carling O'Keefe try to buy the best hops, malt, and barley available. Then too, there are the people who brew our beer. They're proud of their work. When it comes to brewmasters, guys like Bob are tops. Their word is it. No compromises, no shortcuts. Good beer takes time and attention. They make sure it gets both and plenty of it. Me, I just make sure that whatever brand of Carling or Keith beer you buy, it gets to you fresh. It all comes down to one thing. The best to you from the people at Carling or Keith. At least for the time being, it's Sweden in top spot in the Canada Cup with three points on one win and one tie. And of course, Canada and Czechoslovakia right behind with two points. And Eddie Westfall, I, I enjoyed the hockey game and I was surprised the way it turned out. Uh, uh, Sweden almost won it in the last moments. Well, they certainly did. And again, uh, you know, not to belabor a subject, they came on in that last minute again that we talked about earlier. But it was just tremendous hockey, end to end rushing. And uh, the players uh, put out everything. I mean, there was a lot at stake. They knew it. They played very hard. And no love lost either. Lots of high sticking and jostling. I was wondering if they walk down the same ramp, which they do here in the Montreal Forum, something might happen. Well, it can. And, you know, tempers flare. Hockey is an explosive game. And those things uh, can happen. So, uh, you know, that's a great buildup. A hockey game like this gets everybody warmed up uh, for that game tonight. Canada, United States uh, should be a great hockey game. United States, somewhat of an underdog. But uh, you never know. Hot goaltenders, uh, great plays. A couple of mistakes and away they go. Okay, Eddie, we'll see you later when that hockey game starts. On behalf of our sponsors, CTV and Canada Cup 76, we invite you to be watching this evening for the game between Team Canada and the United States on Canada Cup 76.